Hello, this will be my unboxing and overview of the latest version of the Razer Naga Expert MMO Gaming Mouse. Uh, it has 19 buttons on the side that are all mechanical for a good tactile feel. You have um, a fourth generation 8200 DPI laser sensor on the mouse. Tilt scroll wheel. Tilt and click scroll wheel. S seven foot braided cable. And uh, you have green LEDs here and here, which are only on and off. You cannot dim or pulsate them. And these are LED lit as well for the thumb buttons. So those are some of the basics of the specs. And uh, of course it uses the Razer Synapse software for the programming and macro. So um, on to the unboxing. We have it inside it. Some more looks at the specs over here. You can read the text a bit. And here are the specs zoomed in. So you have up to 200 inches per second. All right, now let's get on to opening this baby up. See what's inside. So, and back here we have some documentation, some nice razor stickers, some basic instructions. about the device layout using your Naga. And let's get on to the main event, which is the mouse itself. So it's a, a matte finish, um, very similar in appearance to their keyboards. I also just got the, uh, the Razer Gaming Keyboard, the Ultimate, and it has a similar look and finish to that. It's a slightly rough feel, so not the nicest feel, which other reviewers have stated. So. I would concur with that. And let's see how these uh, buttons sound and feel. But it has... It's an okay size and weight. You cannot adjust the weight of the mouse, by the way. So nice clicky tactile feel to the buttons. So here's the left and right sideways click. I like the front grille, it kind of reminds me of some of the Lamborghinis front grilles. Almost like a jet plane. 
and this will illuminate in green when plugged in. And this will work on most any surface, but not on glass. So just keep that in mind if you have like a clear glass desk, you're going to definitely want a mat for this. Anyway, <clears throat> so I guess that's about it for the overview and unboxing. I will do a follow-up video with the plugged in. You'll see the LEDs going on. I'll show you the Synapse software and demonstrate that. Uh, this adjusts the sensitivity of the mouse on the fly, up and down. And for those of you concerned about accidentally hitting buttons by accident, you only need by only if you program the buttons will it actually do something. So you don't have to worry about something accidentally happening by hitting the buttons if you haven't programmed them to do something. So you're probably only going to program a few at first, maybe the top three or a few of these, or maybe the top row here. And I'll probably just do the top row at first and just see where I go from there. So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and if you'd like to also see a review of my uh, Razer um, Ultimate Keyboard review as well.